This video will show you how to connect Stripe to your Simply Schedule appointments install so that people can pay with credit card to create appointments with you. Let's start by looking at the settings. We're going to go to Appointments in the left nav, and then Settings right here. We'll scroll down to Payments and enable them, and then go to Edit. And you'll see we have two options, Stripe and PayPal. Let's enable Stripe, and it says right away, Stripe is not connected. So we'll click Edit, and go through these settings. This is the basic settings area. The display title is Credit Card. This is what's going to appear in your payment options. So it could say something like, credit card, PayPal, pay later, etc. This is that label. One last thing I want to mention, it's really important to remember that Stripe does far more things than credit cards. For example, it can use the Ideal network in Europe. You'll need to go to their website to see all of the options, but you may want to write your display title in such a way that it appeals to your target audience. Then there's a description that appears below those options, and this is pay with credit card. And you can put anything you want in either of these slots, but this makes sense. Then there's a section to put something for your company descriptor on the bill that they're going to get. And you want it to be readily apparent that it's you so that they aren't confused and reject it. But at the same time, you don't get very many spaces. The first 10 characters on the bill are going to be your company name, and then you get a few more characters for something else. You can write anything here that you wish. Just make sure that it's logically you. Next, we get to Publishable and Secret Keys. While we're here, I want to show you there's Advanced Settings, and you can also put in Test Keys. We're going to set up the Test Keys, and I'll show you how to set up the public ones. So for this next step, we're going to log into Stripe. Once you're logged in, in the top right, go to Developers. And then, in the nav at the top, click API keys. And right here, you'll see the publishable key, and I could reveal my secret key. I'm not going to. I'm going to show you how to get the test ones. Right up here next to Developers is a test mode toggle. Go ahead and click that. Now, that does not change the status of your Stripe account. It simply changes the user interface so that you can be looking at your test mode content. So while that's engaged, I could go look at my test transactions. My entire interface is test, but my account is still processing things live in the background. So don't worry about that. But here are keys. I'm going to click to copy my publishable key. Then we'll take that back to our setup. I'm going to click Enable Test Mode and put in this publishable key. Then we'll go back to Stripe and Reveal Test Key. And I'm going to copy this secret key. And for your live keys, the process is exactly the same. Then we need a Test Webhook Signing Secret. And for this, we need to go to our Webhook settings in Stripe. So let's go back to Stripe. And right here next to API keys is webhooks. And to create one, we're going to add an endpoint. Then we'll click Select Events and go to Payment Intent, Eight Events. Select All Payment Intent Events. And then click Add Events. Now that we've saved our webhook, we need to get this signing secret. So we'll click Reveal, and there it is. We'll copy it and go back to our website and paste it right here. So there, Stripe is enabled and in test mode. And again, to get out of test mode, all you have to do is come to Advanced Settings and uncheck Enable Test Mode, and you'll be ready to set up your um, live Stripe stuff. 
So now what we need to do is tell Simply Schedule Appointments to use Stripe. For that, I'm going to go to Appointment Types, and here we have a consultation phone call. And I'm going to scroll down to Payments. And here are some options. If payments are optional, the customer can select to either pay at the time of booking, or they can select to pay later. If they select to pay at the time of booking, the appointment will be in pending payment mode only until their payment is completed. If they select to pay later, they can book the appointment without paying at all, and the appointment is reserved for them. It's up to the business to ensure that the customer pays for their appointment, and that happens outside of Simply Schedule appointments. So I'm going to leave mine at optional. Here we can set a price and a currency, and there's a, a wide variety of currencies. And for the price, there is a minimum. For US dollars, it's 50 cents, but that varies based on currency. So I'm gonna set this back to $5 and leave it there. Then there is a section for refund and cancellation policy. Now you can require a refund and cancellation policy agreement, but Simply Schedule Appointments does not enforce it, which means it's up to you to do that. If you require it, here are some options for where it shows up and things like that. And then lastly, we have payment methods. Now if PayPal were also set up, then you could choose one or both, uh, but we're here to do Stripe, so there we are. Then we go to the bottom and click Save. And now we can make an appointment. So let's go to Appointments and book one. Let's say noon tomorrow. I'll put in my name, my email. There's the price. And I'm going to pay with credit card. So we'll confirm and pay. Now the test cards for Stripe start with a four and then are have all ones after that. And then any future month and year and any CVC. Let me scroll down just a little bit and click book. And there we are. An appointment has been booked and I paid with a virtual credit card. So that's all there is to setting up Stripe with Simply Schedule Appointments.